Hey everyone, it's Linda. Welcome, and today I'm gonna to share things that I've been using and loving. And before I get into the video, um, I wanna say I apologize if my scar bothers anyone. I was on the fence as to whether or not I should wear my hair up because you can see my cancer scar. Um, I've just come to the conclusion that this scar is part of me and I'm just gonna wear my hair however I see fit and hope and pray that it doesn't bother anyone. So let's just jump on into this video. And the first thing that I've been loving are these earrings. I found these earrings at Walmart. They were only a couple of dollars. I think the brand is called True, something true, tried and true. But I think they're really cute and trendy. And something else that I found that I'm wearing today is this little watch. And I think this watch just screams spring. And I think it's so cute, so adorable. And I just love it. And something else that I've been loving is this little sharpener from e.l.f. Sometimes it's just about the simple things. I have never been one that cared for um, eyeliners or lip liners that had to be sharpened. I always preferred the ones you could just, you know, roll up or liquid liners because I just didn't like sharpening, sharpening the pencils. But this thing makes it a breeze and it's converted me. So now this is sharpen away. <laughs> And uh, something else that I've been loving for a while now is this nail polish from Simple Colors. It's called um, Tutu Thrill. And it has become my go-to nail polish color. I wear this nail polish more often than any of the other nail polishes that I own. Something else I've been loving, and I've heard good things and bad things about this, and that is this Gold Bond Nick and Chest. For me, who has a very bad neck, and we've talked about that in the past, I've done the peel, but I really think this has been helping out my turkey neck. And speaking of the peel, I absolutely love this peel. I've shared it with you guys many times. I've used it on my neck and my chest and on my face now, and I love it. And since I had done the peel on my face, I had decided to take a little break from the Retin-A and all the acids. And I recently started using Retin-A again, and what I've been doing is taking my Retin-A and mixing it with a little bit of this Mad Hippie oil. And I've been loving this combination. It makes the Retin-A go on so much easier. The irritation hasn't been as bad. I'm sure it's cutting down on the concentration of the Retin-A, so this is a 1%. So I'm sure with it being mixed with this, it's not as potent, but I'm seeing the same results without as much irritation. And then the other day, while I was wandering around Walmart, I uh, came across this. Uh, it's a face cream. It's called Hello Hydration Face Cream from e.l.f., and it was only $12.00. But this face cream has a whole arsenal of good things. It has uh, niacinamide, it has peptides, it has squalene, it has hyaluronic acid, and it's a very, very light fragrance, but not much of all, and it's not much at all, and this was only $12, and I've been using this, and so far, so good. I'm really enjoying this. So if you're looking for a nice face cream, with all those ingredients that I just mentioned, this may be one that you wanna give a try. And also new to me, I've used it a few times now and I'm really enjoying it, is this Shiseido 50 BB, it's a sunscreen. This stuff goes on like a foundation and it dries matte and I could honestly wear this as a lightweight foundation if I wanted to. And I really like this. And this has fast become my favorite little palette. I use this just about every day. And I absolutely love it. 
another little palette that I've really been enjoying is from Pixie. It has some beautiful springy colors in there. And let me tell you the name of the palette. It is, it is Desert Sunset. I open it. But these colors are so springy. I love it. Something else, I think some of these things are going to be on repeat because there is something that I love and I just keep using it. I enjoy it, so bear with me. This I recently shared in my little um, eye under eye comparison video, and I love this vitamin E oil. I'm using it under my eyes, I'm using it on my lip lines, in these deep creases that I have on my cheeks, and I really can see a plumping effect happening. So I really like this vitamin E oil. As far as shampoos go lately, I have been loving, these aren't, the, these aren't matches. I got the um, Miracle Volume in the shampoo because I find it be very clarifying. And then I got the moisture for the conditioner and this makes my hair so easy to comb out and so manageable. I've also been loving this um, body wash by Arm & Hammer and it's called um, Clear Water and I think that's a perfect name for it because it smells so clean and refreshing and I really like this. Another repeat is this oil from Bio Oil. I love to use this on my arms and my legs after I get out of the shower and it smells, I just love the smell of it. I gotta sniff it now. I love the smell of this stuff. It smells so good. Something else, pardon my reaching, and something else that I've been using and loving are these two products. This is the, it can be used as a body wash or a bubble bath. It is so thick. Let me just turn this upside down so you can see how, see how slow it's turning? It is so thick and it smells, oh my gosh. It is the dark cherry orchid scent and I love using this as a body wash and then putting this on after I get out of the shower. It smells so good. And my last two products are not beauty related, but I've also shared this before and it is these oven roasted almonds in the dark chocolate flavor. These are so good and a quick, easy snack that is pretty much healthy for you. There's a, there's a little bit of sugar in this, but not a whole lot. So it's a pretty quick and easy, healthy snack. And last but not least, this is new to me. My daughter turned me on to this. It is the International Delights French Vanilla, and it is sugar-free. So you can have your coffee with your cream, your flavored cream, without guilt. So those are my favorites. And the shirt's kind of, how do I always manage to put on a shirt that pesters me to do a video? I don't know, but I always seem to manage to put on a shirt that I'm tugging at all through the entire video. So I'm sorry. But as always, thanks for watching. And until next time.